I am Jean Bosco, uh, a professor of mechatronics from Dedan Kimadi University of Technology. I am the director of Siemens Mechatronics Certification Program. Uh, I am the coordinator and the skill expert, uh, national skill expert mechatronics and industry 4.0. I am the main coordinator for this exercise. Uh, this exercise is what the skill is mechatronics uh, as a skill area in the industry 4.0. We are going to have a number of different skills, including cooking, including welding, including care card, including CNC. But we divided this. Uh, uh, what is skills in two, two, three areas. There is a, a TV, school of TVET in Nairobi, and we have uh, uh, BOMA uh, for the skill of restaurant service, and we have Dedan Kimadi here, where we are running industrial. 4.0 and mechatronics. Here we have attracted a number of competitors. Uh, the registration was coming to 72 competitors, both in mechatronics and industry 4.0. The main competition will start on the 28th of August and it will end on the uh, 1st September uh, 2023. So the winners will be registered to participate in World Skills International, which will be in 2024 October in France, in Lyon, in France. So we are preparing. Definitely, we have to continue to train the winners uh, up so that they can be up to the date because we are competing with China, we are competing with Japan, we are competing with France, we are competing with Germany. So in these two skills, mechatronics and industry 4.0 are much attracting uh, many countries because of industries, because of investment, because of automation, because of manufacturing. So we have to ensure our competitors are up to date. I am competing in industrial 4.0. I think it is a really important skill, especially it mostly facilitates monitoring industries from uh, from not actually being there, that is, not actually being present in the industry, but you can be able to monitor your industry. So I think that's a really important thing, especially in the age we are heading to. The fact that we're able to access industries before you finish school, it's a very good thing because you end up completing your course after you've already, you have the necessary skills that you need to, to pursue your engineering course. Mechatronics, it's somehow related to electrical, of which the parts of the machines that mechatronics apply, it's in the part of the electrical may go to the industry and also do practicals and apply it there. So mechatronic and electrical, they are somehow related, and so this is an area of interest that both we going. In electrical field, we are doing about electrical components and all those. But um, the challenge that I'm getting right now is that we need these machines and they need some of the programming technology to be equipped in them so that we can have the automation because the modern society is moving in the automation side. So we need that automation. But when I'm getting myself just to be in electrical, of which I know a little more about the programming and whatever, gives me a challenge. See, it has been spoken about since I joined university and it has been an integral part of the program here in the They keep on uh, encouraging us to join uh, industry for Poitou in order to be in sync with the modern requirements. Uh, the university has been uh, pretty open to supporting people, the staff, and uh, even uh, the labs are quite well equipped. Uh, I believe that industry for Poitou and mechatronics are going to continue to improve within this particular university, particularly because of the great support that everybody has for students. Yeah, the competition we have here uh, in Nyeri at the Dedan Kimadu University of Technology in the Siemens Mechatron Certification Center, we have Industry 4.0 and we have a Mechatronics. Space. Somebody may ask, what is the difference between this Industry 4.0 and the Mechatronics? We talk about Industry 4.0 when we look at the enablers of uh, fourth industrial revolution. Definitely, we started by having the first revolution where they were mechanical machine pumping water and then we had the second revolution which is electrical uh, the third revolution brought the control and the PLC programming and so forth so in that case that is where mechatronics started because the mechatronics started by following the revolution number three uh, where we are trying to automate systems we are having the SCADA and we are having uh, uh, other system of communication but in automation of the systems now when we go to industrial 4.0 we are bringing more enabling 
enablers because uh, there is uh, artificial intelligence, there is uh, internet of things, uh, there is virtual reality, there is augmented reality, there is a digital twin. So uh, in this competition, uh, we are going to have the student will have to operate machine automatically and manually, that is mechatronics, and then they integrate, they put a uh, human machine interface to be able to operate the machine as the industry operate today. But in industry 4.0, we will start where the student has stopped uh, by operating machine by human machine interface. Then we integrate. Assumption is a student uh, in Marisabit should be able to access our facility in Nyeri through uh, the cloud and uh, the use of uh, internet of things. So it means what we are testing the student now is a cyber physical system where we have human machine interface, we have a digital twin, we have uh, internet of things and we have the cloud. So the student will be able to do the program and the post in the cloud and then we can be able to see whether the physical machine and the virtual machine are working and the same, that is what we call the digital twin, and they are communication in two ways. For now, we are doing the competition, as you, all the students are here, but the, in the competition of Industry 4.0, which is much more uh, new area, which we are running for the first time in this Africa soil, in the Africa continent, we are the first people to run competition in the Industry 4.0. We wanted to put four to five enablers, but as we continue, we will continue to add more enablers. To what we are recommending, because uh, the competitors, uh, some of them are really uh, not up to date. I'm saying uh, Industry 4.0 matches in versus student competing, but we wanted to encourage also the TVET because of issue of facilities so that they can see how they can use the digital tool, they can use, uh, they can access via the digital platform.